If you ask me how I like my coffee, I'll tell you. I like it like I like my punk ass motherfuckers. Roasted. Ice cold. So I thought I would do something a little different this week. Uh, different, different to this channel. Not really different to anything else anybody else is doing. Um, <laughs> I asked you guys if you needed some advice and a lot of people had a lot of things they needed. So I'm just gonna do a frequently asked junk. It's like a Q and A but it's, it's rapid fire and it's me. Karina Rodriguez needs to know how to tell if you're talking to a hot girl or a creepy old man. Uh, that is a very uh, tough question because most hot girls type like old men and old men uh, type like, like young girls. Uh, at least that's what I get from texting my dad who seems to know all of the acronyms for laughing and uh, describing what he's doing while laughing. Uh, but if I uh, was you, I, I would ask about their day. If their day mentions uh, a Depends or Metamucil or uh, maybe going down to the pharmacy to get some fucking stuff for pooping. I if, if you ever talk to them on the phone, um, if, if they sound like they're like a like they're a man trying to be a hot woman, uh, that's usually a, 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 a red flag. I would say mainly if, if you are trying to figure out if it's an old man or a hot girl, Check for a dick. Uh, Roxy Toxy 321 wants to know what my middle name is. And, uh, uh well, I don't. You, 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 it's, uh. Steven? There's a cute guy at university. Do I make the first move? Yes, uh, of course. What do you what have you got to lose? Just do it and if nothing comes of it Then you can fade into the social mist like nothing ever happened. I have a miniature mule that likes kicking people in the nuts What do I do? Uh, to kick it in the nuts back. Let it know how it feels. How do I tell my mom? It's not okay to leave the door open. Well, Jasmine I think the most effective way to let people know it's not okay to leave the door open is to uh, tie them to a stake and leave them in a barn with the door open. Then leave plenty of food around their feet and just see what kind of creatures come in to visit. I think a night or two of that will let her know that the door needs to be closed or unwanted visitors come in. I want a car, but I got no muscles. Well, uh, Vibritamin Bird, I am very sorry. I don't know what I wrote here for your name. Well, you see, that's the beauty of owning a muscle car. You don't need to have muscles to own one. It, the, the car itself gives the illusion that you may or may not have muscles. Kind of the same way riding a mountain bike gives the illusion that you are in possession of giant mountainous gonads. How do you tell your best friend that you want to be with her? Um, well, I say, uh, use your words. Pronounce the right sentence that you want to say out of your mouth. Uh, and, and make sure they're in the room and looking at you or write it in the wall in blood. What's the most efficient way to gain friends? Well, let me tell you, an external force. Uh, I don't know. I can't help you with that. You could try the thing that I try. Uh, I don't know if it's working or not. Um, doesn't seem to be. Just sweat profusely in any situation, no matter what temperature, and say fuck a lot. Maybe talk about wanting to die because uh, that usually uh, brings out the best in people. How do I become pr productive? Well, Kaylee, put the keyboard down or pick the keyboard up if you gotta do work on the internet. The programmers at Facebook have special techno music they listen to that, that, that helps them be productive. I don't know how it works. Uh, the beats and, and brain waves mixed together and you could just, just Google it and uh, listen to that. See if that helps. <clears throat> I own a Jess Sanders wants some date ideas. Let's see. Have, have you tried, um, have you tried a slaughterhouse? You, you know, as long as you're together, you're gonna have fun, right? So why not, uh, a slaughterhouse? If you ever want to be bonded together for life, a straight-up murder. Uh, go see what's going on underneath the bridge. Blindfold them, uh, and take them by the hand, and, uh, lead them somewhere. Just somewhere. Trust me, they're gonna feel the thrill of danger, and, and this will really test their trust. If you're really looking to spice up a date, try laughing maniacally every time you close a door. A tour of the factory where they make down pillows. I've, I've never seen how they do it, but it's gotta be pretty interesting to see like a hundred old ladies just ripping feathers off a duck. Take them to the bank and uh, let them see how much money you have. 
and, and then tell them that's why we're not doing anything. Nothing says first date like meeting the parents who are in prison. Or a funeral. Uh, something that's always a great first date. It's taking them to the clinic and having their blood work checked out. Uh, it, it shows that you're safe and uh, y y you're thinking uh, about the future and that uh, you're worried that they have a disease. Um, if, if you're really looking for a great date, you could take them uh, behind any door that locks. So if you have any questions or you need some advice, uh, just ask away. Leave it in the comments below or do it on my Facebook and Twitter. And if you guys enjoy this, maybe we'll make it a regular thing. Uh, 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 and I've got a new podcast every Wednesday. Um, that's about it. I'll see you guys on Friday. I really hope this video uh, goes well because uh, I just kind of made it up as I went along. Doing doing things off the cuff can be fun sometimes. We'll see.